rigs is it's very light and comfortable to be able to take a stroll around your yard if you want to survey your property if you're going in the woods if you're hunting or if you're just training another key feature that I love about the system that I made being that it is a chest rig the footprint is so much smaller so you could keep it in a backpack a virtually small backpack you can keep it in your truck you can quickly get to your truck, out of your bag, throw it on relatively quick, And there you have it. So the footprint is not that big. As you've seen, I had this just as big as the plate itself. Everything wraps around it. The worst part about a full plate carrier, yes, you can get it small, but the footprint will never be as small as a chest rig. So the door breacher. All you have to do, unclip any rifle or subgun uh, mag pouches that you have and simply we're just going to use this pouch for now with some shells in it simply just take and lock it in uh, let's get started from dynamic principles for this Franken chest rig, I ordered the chest rig shoulder straps and the uh, chest rig back panel. Is your back panel multicam black uh, has Velcro, uh, laser laminate, uh, Molly slots, back Velcro sandwich where your back of the cummerbund is going to go uh, straps or also laser laminate with some uh, some molly slots cut out has a big one and a half it looks like quasim buckle on each uh, also in multicam black so, uh, defense mechanism with the cummerbund this is the 3 inch Molly Cumberbund Ranger Green. They did not have the Multicam Black in the, uh, in the one that I wanted. This comes with spear tubes, uh, also laser cut laminate Molly. And like I said, I got the spear tubes for quick disconnect. As we see right here. Nothing really special. Uh, they were on sale. They were in my budget. I liked them. So went ahead and ordered that for my Cumberbund. Uh, this is Cloudtac. Uh, this is the... Uh, let's read it just like they have it over there. Uh, the TG-CPC standard front panel Gen 4 in Multicam Black. This is the same thing, laser cut, laminate molly, but it has a structural backer behind it. Uh, also did not have multicam black, but black is just about the same, so. And then next from CloudTac, we got a Velcro back uh, padding to go on the back side of you because what I am doing, I am not running a uh, not running a placard system where I can just change this in and out. This, this is the rig itself, uh, but that's going to be later down the video that I'll show you why I did that. So that just 
Slaps on. And there we go. Another cameraman. S Tac. Everybody loves S Tac. I love their gear. I love what they stand for as a company. I am missing a mag holder. We're going to be right back. Okay, because I'm blind, uh, glasses, you know, I uh, had to use the cameraman, you know, got to save me most of the time whenever we're doing these videos, uh, either because we're laughing too much or uh, I just can't figure out what to say. So, s -tag. I have the double CZ Scorpion mediums, a AR-15 5.56, and a double Glock mag, you know. So uh, they did it a little different nowadays. I have the older models that have the actual Molly webbing stitched. Now they're doing a laser cut laminate. They feel a lot better. They feel a little more structurally sound. Uh, so uh, we'll. Uh, this will be also later down in the line of the video of why I chose this. So. Oh, also in. Uh, God's color of multicam black. <clears throat> Next up, we have Blade Tech holsters. And we have a whole bunch of Blade Tech. This is their TMMS system, uh, kind of like, kind of like Safari Land's ELS system. Uh, these were just a little smaller of a footprint and they felt like they would be easier to get on and off the plate carrier for what I'm going to do. So, uh, just like the ELS system, you have a insert plate that you put on the back of a, a mag holder, knife sheath, uh, pretty much anything. If, you, if it has a hole or you can attach it some way, which I figured out how to attach it. Uh, Let's see, we have the insert plate and they also have receiver plates. These are the largest. So, uh, anything you want to put, whether it's on a backpack, a belt, chest rig, plate carrier, find a way to attach it and then just simply take it, slide it in just like the Safari Land ELS. Clips in, will come out uh, to take it off. Pull a tab, pick up, and then you can change your accessories. So, uh, like I said, these are the large versions. I have one set of these, and then I have, uh, let's see, I have the one, two, three, four of the smaller style insert plates, and three of the smaller uh, receivers for them. So. And I have one more package. Thank you, sir. Guardian Warrior Solution. Uh, I found this company about two years ago, scrolling through Instagram and TikTok, and I seen their products. And I thought about buying them back then, but didn't have any kit really to change. Uh, the only kit I've ever had was rocking the uh, uh, Wilder Tactical belt with a uh, pad on it and I would just use the standard malice clips that you can get from s -Tac. but these I just like them a little bit better for the, as far as the footprint and it also kind of goes with what I'm doing so uh, all it is is some Tegris material they cut it drill holes in it and then you can take it uh, you slide it in the back of your molly on one side and then you take the provided screws screw them together and then you can take whether it's the uh, the TMS inserts slap them on there on the back or if you want to just do a tech lock regular old school tech lock uh, Safari Land ELS there's multiple different inserts and uh, items that you can put it to. I know 
I see. I know that. Uh, ah, can't think of the name of the belt system. So far, land. So far, land. Sorry, that, that that blew off my mind. So far, land actually has a belt with the holes pre-punched in it. I believe you can actually just take this, screw it directly into the belt itself. You don't have to use a uh, any kind of uh, tech locks or malice clips to attach that. Uh, just simply take it. Screw it into your belt, and then screw it down, and it locks down. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to get started. We're going to clear this off again, get started building out this chest rig. Alright, uh, let's see. Starting off with putting the straps on the back panel. Uh, just simply un-velcro. You're going to want the back panel velcro facing out. Slide it through, and nothing to it. So, get our other one placed. And it should look something like that. Okay, if you don't know how to put a chest rig together, well, then uh, something wrong with you. So, uh, next up, we're going to get our, uh, our plate. Alright, so uh, we got our plate, uh, Velcro in, you know, simply lock the provided quasim buckles together, and then uh, this is going to come after, this is our uh, pad backer, that's just going to slap on the back of your plate carrier, uh, chest ring, and uh, just to provide some comfort, because this is a uh, hook side, so you really don't want that rubbing your chest, you're going to get a hot spot, it's going to suck, uh, you're going to hate your life. So, uh, next up, we'll grab our cummerbund. Alright, uh, we've got our cummerbunds, uh, yes, uh, don't, well, I don't give a shit. Throw some comments up there, tell me how much you hate the colors. Uh, Ranger Green wasn't my first pick, but it was what they had, it wasn't sold out, and like I said, it was in the budget. So. Uh, you can build a chest rig however you want. That's why I call this my Franken rig. Uh, has multiple different companies, great companies that make great stuff. Uh, like I said, everything is uh, laser cut laminate, so extra strong, uh, good quality uh, spear tubes. Can't beat them. Quick dawn and off, and it, you ain't got to deal with. Uh, So, uh, you're going to take your, shit, thank you, okay, stay, alright, you're going to uh, take your back flap, open her up, uh, we got loop side on the inner part of where it would be on the back, and hook side on the flap, so, Simply take it, put it to where you think it's going to fit. Uh, I like to go a little bit higher, that way the uh, Velcro on the bottom has something to sandwich down. Uh, might help it last a little longer, just where it don't open up. And then, and then fold the large to 3x. So you will have adjustability where if you're a wider set like me, depending on your size, these may overlap a little bit. It won't hurt anything. So get, get it about where you think you might have it. And then you take your padded, uh, Velcro padded backer and sandwich the two. Uh, I don't know if it really makes a difference where you go this way up or this way up. Uh, I guess it's just kind of personal preference. It's padded in a couple spots, so uh, either way shouldn't really affect anything. Uh, let's see, we're going to line the top up, line the sides up. It's a tad bit smaller than the, uh, the plate itself, 
So, I mean, you will have a little stick out of loop side Velcro here and here, but as far as uh, up and down, it covers the whole thing. So, I don't really see that being. Alright, so uh, got it sized up. So, this is what it looks like the straps, front panel, cover bun, show you the back. So, okay, for uh, this part of the video, uh, I'm just going to be working with the plate itself. Uh, I just took it off the rest of the harness just to give it a little more ease of mobility. So, first off, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, this is on a Gerber. I don't even know what, which model this is. It's about uh, 30 years old. This was my dad's. Uh, can't beat it. A screwdriver, knife, saw. One of the best pair of scissors on a multi-tool that you'll ever get. Uh, I've cut wire, jeans, copper. Uh, I use it at work. Uh, the saw is actually... I don't know what kind of blade it has on the saw. If you can get a, a good close-up view of that blade. It's not a, a normal toothed blade. It's actually just like jagged material. But we'll cut the hell out of a tree in no time. Put that yeah, behind yeah, it. Let's see if can, yeah. See if we can get that blade on it. Yeah, now flip it around. So, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, we're just going to be using the Phillips screwdriver because everything that uh, we got in, it does come with it on uh, Chicago screws, uh, front backs. Uh, we got screws for the TMMS and the Guardian Warrior Solutions. So, you should be covered on that. So, let's uh, get into it. First off, you're gonna want to tell. Okay, so this is the uh, double. They uh, they have some singles where it's just like that big. Uh, just if you want to do like a single mag pouch, uh, I chose the doubles because these are doubled. All right. So uh, after about an hour of playing with this, trying to figure out exactly how to do it, because what you're gonna fight with is getting these two screws that actually close the uh, Tegris material together uh, you're going to want to go you're going to want to open the Tegris material go in through the bottom let the folds ride on the bottom of the mag holster and the, uh, the closure on the top that way you'll be able to get to your two screws here without interfering with your plate uh, for the plate itself I found if you take the uh, the nut of the Chicago screws, put them on the inside first, then screw these, and then screw these into your uh, into your plate. It works a lot better. Uh, same thing goes as on your uh, receiver plates that go on your uh, on your placard. Uh, put it put the fold down. The insert, uh, the insert up, and then you can just take it, take your both your female and male TMMS system, and slide it on. You'll hear a good click. This will lock in to uh, to the plate, and then when you want to take it off or switch a bag, switch different rigs, grab and go, just by pulling the release buckle off. So again, take it. Slide it in, you'll hear a click, and that's good to go. Uh, I did notice one thing on the new uh, S S Tag holsters, they're tight, like almost stupid tight compared to the old model with the actual Bali straps. Uh, they got some, uh, you gotta put some oomph into them, unlike these, where you just kind of 
not as bad. Uh, pros and cons about that. Uh, if you're in some weird terrain, you fall. Uh, you'll definitely have less likely of a chance for the mag to slip out. But even the old ones, and this is a fully loaded mag, uh, dirty round P mag. So you will definitely have no play, even the shape test. You know, I'm not really holding it, so they won't fall out. These <laughs> definitely won't fall out. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll take a heat gun, kind of open up the, the Kydex inserts that's in these, but it won't go nowhere, uh, both your mag and the uh, TMMS system. So uh, we're going to put uh, two more receiver plates and we're going to finish putting uh, the males on the different mag pouches I have for this rig. So uh, we'll get to that and we'll show you the progress. And just like that, with the uh, magic of the pause button, we are done. We have all of the TMMS system from BladeTech attached and secured. Uh, this is what it looks like. So one thing I will say, it won't be uh, as slick as most of you just malice clip it to the uh, to the placard itself just going from the mag pouch to the placard itself without this gap so you, you won't really be as slick as you can with most carriers I chose this because I did not want to have multiple placard systems uh, I didn't want to have just a bunch of these one from a sub gun one from a main rifle and uh, that way, if I want to, all I'd have to do is, okay, I want to run my rifle today. Grab it, pull it off, and then I can either take my pistol mags, throw them on, all the way on the other side, and that way if... Thanks guys for watching. This is another adventure on Bayou Amateurs. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the comment section, let us know what you want to see. 